in Wanick DigiPen Academy Art and Animation. Students come in at all levels. At the beginning of the year, we assess to see how much knowledge they have and skills. Art foundations begin with good, strong form. So as you can see here, we go from simple boxes moving into more complicated forms but it actually takes a lot of work. Then we move to environments and how the rules of perspective help us form and make places and give images depth making sure everything sits on the same plane and lives in the same world. Good perspective leads to good art. Value is a result of light hitting form. So we do texture studies in charcoal to start learning how to get our darks dark and get our lights light. Then we learn the common value shapes and how they appear on basic shapes like spheres and pumpkins, boxes, lots of boxes. Then we move into playing around with local value, AKA something is black, gray, or white. After we have gotten a firm grasp of value in charcoal, we then transfer over to gouache. With a strong foundation of perspective, moving forward, students use value ranges to help reveal how light interacts with form. This year we transferred over from gouache to digital painting. All the rules that we learned in charcoal are still present. You just got to keep practicing. And as you can see here, we practice with more cubes in the digital painting and more cubes. And then pretty soon we're done with cubes. We're, we want them out of here. We're over cubes. Animation. The 12 principles of animation are a guidebook to learning how to make things move realistically without breaking the illusion of life. Here we see students practicing with cars and making them stop at stop signs before they continue on. Then we see students practicing bouncing a ball. The bouncing ball becomes the basis for all animations in the future. Getting realistic Weight in physics to a ball bounce, though, takes a lot of practice and resolve. If you can bounce a ball, you can animate anything. We move on to bouncing characters. Animation planning is a must. Animations can get very lengthy, and without a plan, you'll fall flat on your face. Here we see students, Kari, Cam, and Lydia with their bounce and jump animations. Aime has done a, a stellar job with their backflip. Michaela has done a good job of planning and reworking until we finished this animation to a portfolio piece. Master Studies. Back in the old days, students were given over to masters to study from. If you wanted to become an artist, you were sent to a guild and apprenticed until you came of age. We no longer have this tradition, but we give a nod to it by having the students pick their own masters from history that they wish to replicate and then study from for the rest of the year. Master studies come in several different variations, learning to color pick and shape. How did the masters draw a rose? How did the masters draw a landscape? They already solved it. We do not need to reinvent the wheel. So we study from them on how they simplified their paintings to be absolutely clear and their color choices. And what becomes a good color choice for a portrait? Master studies also help us learn value, human anatomy, and composition. There's a reason these old paintings have survived hundreds and hundreds of years. We as people like them. And to replicate them and give homage to them in our own art is the best way to pay it forward.
Here we have what I like to call the master rebuild painting. Students grab items and do their best to replicate an image in composition. And then they use that reference image to build and paint a final image. Artists' understanding of color begins with being able to eyeball a color and mix it and understanding color theory. But it's also got very much scientific rules behind it. Color is a mixture of all of the light and light waves and how they interact with objects. By taking this scientific approach to color, students get more realistic still lives. You, you 